1974. Today is Thursday, April 11th, 2024. We celebrate today the, mor the memorial of St. Stanislaus, bishop and martyr. We all together say our Easter acclamation. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We hear in today's gospel, whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. Let us pray. Our Lord and our Father, we give glory, praise, and thanksgiving to you for all the graces we have received today. May we learn to share all these things to our neighbors. You acknowledge your closeness to the brokenhearted. May you give them strength to be trustful and to be more faithful. Our God, may those who are feeling stress, depression, financial problems, health, and other troubles may be given respite from their troubles. May you teach us to pray always, both in times of abundance and good health, and in times of need and serious issues in our lives. Almighty God, we are nothing without you. We entrust everything and everyone to your love and protection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. St. Margaret Mary, pray for us. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, SM. Rise and shine. Today we have an exciting show for you today for <laughs> including Noosa, Taryn, and Addy, a day of service segment, a spring break recap, and a swim walk-on. No more snoozing your alarm because this show starts right now. Good morning, everyone. I'm Christina Katsaris. And I'm Laura Lee. Wow, it feels so great to be hosting again. I agree. I think we should start the show off right this morning with some news. That's a great idea. Let's send it over to Taryn and Addy to fill us in with a news update. Good morning and welcome to this week's news report. I'm Taryn Cagle. And I'm Addie Matthews. To start off, the solar eclipse occurred on April 8th this past Monday. It was incredible to see and isn't expected to occur again on a coast to coast path until August 12, 2045. According to NASA, the best dates to have seen it were Texas and New York. It was so awesome to see in RSM. That's right, it traveled in a curved pattern starting in Texas. It covered other states like Oklahoma, Illinois, and Maine. But Taryn, I'm sure you were wearing the correct solar eclipse glasses, right? Of course, Addie. Good. The damage you can get from looking at the eclipse is very scary. I look at the sun with the glasses and my eyes still hurt a little afterward. Me too. Scientists say that um, starring, st staring into a solar eclipse can lead to permanent eye damage, so I really hope that you are wearing your glasses. And they only save time to look at the sun during the solar eclipse without glasses is during totality. So make sure you are looking at that when it was blocked, <laughs> by, the, blocked by the moon. Yes, and I can't believe we are going to be 38 before the next solar eclipse, but I think we've got another great story. We sure do. A woman right here in Rancho Santa Mar Margarita got the chance to thank the man to help save her husband's life. When 62-year-old Steve Kitely collapsed and went into cardiac arrest, his wife Sharon was scared and immediately called 911. Dispatcher Chris Calavaro, a trainee, was on the other end of the line and calmly gave Sharon instructions during the fighting ordeal. Calavaro's good, calm, and collected instructions were especially commendable considering the very short time he had been on the job. With Calavaro's instruction, Sharon performed CPR on her husband until paramedics arrived. Steve was rushed to the hospital and has since made a full recovery. When Steve was released, the crew that helped save Steve's life and the 911 dispatcher showed up to go to the Kitely home. The couple was able to give the incredible team their much deserved thanks. Sharon said that she would never have known that. Carvara was a newbie. Like Keely, we are all always so grateful for our first responders and anyone that is doing work to help others. Exactly. Our first responders do so much for the community. And that's all we've got for today. I'm Taryn Cagle. And I'm Addie Matthews, sending it back to Christina and Laura. Thank you so much, Addie and Taryn. It's always good to hear about something happening around us. You know what? I actually have a great story for you. Um, let me guess. Is it about ISB's day of service? Exactly. Roll it. What's up, Eagles? I'm Fallon Boyle, and ASB is here today at the Second Harvest Farm for their day of service. Let's take a closer look. 
I'm here with Bailey. Tell us more about your job and what the farm does. Hi, so like she said, I am Bailey. I'm the farm coordinator out here at Harvest Solutions Farm. This is a 200 acre property. We rent about 45 acres. It's run by the University of California, so it's the UC South Coast Research Center. Um, we also partner with a farmer, his name's A.G. Kawamura. He's a third generation Orange County farmer. And with those partnerships and our help as the volunteers, we harvest about 40,000 pounds of produce for our community a week. So, super exciting. Charlie, what's your job? My job is to pick up the cabbage and throw them to Jalen and she throws them to Megan. So, Clara, how did today go? It was great. We picked cabbages and collected them for people in the community, so it was a great service opportunity. And Ben, how do you feel after harvesting cabbage all day? Um, I feel pretty tired, but it was good. Put in a lot of good effort um, going towards a good cost, so yeah. Awesome. Thanks everyone for watching. It was a great trip. See you guys next time. Well, it's so nice to see a little insight into what our ASB members do. I agree. Christina, did you do anything during break? Yeah, I did. I got to chill with my family and just spend some time with them. That was really nice. Um, I've heard so many fun stories of what people did over spring break. Now I'm pretty curious. Let's find out what our SM students did during break. Hello Eagles, I'm Gigi and Mary and today we will be asking students what they did over break. I'm here with Mila. And what did you do over break? I went to New York and I and I went shopping. I'm here with Brooke. And what did you do over break? I went to Africa and an elephant stepped on my foot. I'm here with Maddie Merchant. And what did you do over break? So for break, I went to Maui with my family and I ziplined, scuba dived, and snorkeled. And it was so fun. Great. <laughs> I'm here with Jay Farzo. And what did you do over break? Uh, I got pulled over by the police in Mexico. Interesting. Hello, I'm here with Rodney DeMarco. And what did you do over break? Uh, I slept in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really do anything for real, so I played basketball. Thank you for watching us, and now sending it back to the host. Well, it sounds like everyone had a really nice spring break. Yeah, I hope everyone got a chance to relax. Yep, relaxing is definitely something that we all need, especially if you do a sport. Speaking of which, do you know what um, that our girls um, <laughs> that our girls and boys swim team just had to meet this Thursday, this Tuesday? I did not, but I heard that they have another one coming up soon. Wait, Christina, where are you going? Well, Laura, we have a swim walk on right now with some of our members of our varsity girls swim team. Um, they are defending CIF state and national champions for the past several years. So we're going to interview them right now. So first, um, what have you been most excited for this season? Um, just really bonding with the team and just trying to do our best and get good times. So how is your season going so far and what are your goals for the future? Um, our season is going really well. Our goals are definitely to win CIF and state and national champions again. And when is your next meet? Our next meet is Thursday, next Thursday against Monday Day. Thank you so much. So make sure to get the, uh, the nest to support our Eagles um, on the pool deck. Thank you so much and have a great sea season. Thank you so much, Christina and our swim, girls swim team. Well, hold on, Laura. Back. I'm coming. <laughs> okay, we, that was a really great segment, and um, I thought that was really good. Yeah, I cannot wait to see how they do in their next swim meet. Thank you so much, and we hope you all have a wonderful day. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. I'm Christina Katsaris. And I'm Laura Lee. Have a fantastic Thursday, SM.